All right, 8-1 number 4 <clears throat> says a ball is dropped from a height of 13 feet, bounces 0.81 or 81% of its previous height each bounce. How high off the ground is the ball at the top of the sixth bounce? All right, so here's the scenario. We're dropping a ball, and then it starts bouncing. And it's not getting as high <clears throat> each time until it you know flattens out. And we want to go six bounces and want to know the height. So this is going to be modeled after the geometric. Geometric is a n equals a one starting times the rate to the n minus one power. Now you have to be careful with this problem <clears throat> because the first drop is not a bounce. It's just an initial height, which in our case is uh, <clears throat> 13. So we have a 13. Our rate is 81%. Uh, so as a decimal is 0.81. So normally we would do this n minus 1. But remember, we have a one drop. So we're counting the first one as a drop. This is counting as one. And then this would be two, three, four, five, six. So actually one, two, three, four, five, six bounces is actually gonna be the seventh number. So we actually wanna do seven minus one here, which is gonna give us six. So we're actually looking a seven. You gotta be careful because we're, we're talking about bounces. The first one was a drop. And then we got bounce, 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 bounce. So we're looking for six bounces, which is actually going to give us the seventh term. So we have to do it like this. So it's going to be 13 times 0.81 to the sixth because that initial drop is not a bounce. It's just the first height. Um, so we're going to input this into our calculator and let it compute. So we're going to do uh, 13 and then times 0.81 and we're going to raise that to the sixth power and we want to round to one decimal place so 3.7